We've had some rain, some snow, some thunder snow across Colorado's high country this morning. You're looking at Buena Vista here back toward Mount Princeton. Uh, it is wet there downtown, as you can see on the roads. This looks sponsored by Navy Federal Credit Union. More on the weather forecast coming up. Speaking of our weather forecast, every time we get the forecast right, plus or minus three degrees, we donate money to charity as part of our Wirenut Home Services three degree guarantee. Joining me this morning from Wirenut is Warren Peacock. Warren Thanks for being here again. Yeah, thanks for having us, Matt. Of course. And Skylar Nelson, who is from Bailey Military Family Support Group. That's who we supported in September. We raised $1,740. So, Skylar, welcome this morning. Thank you. That's amazing. We're really grateful to be here. Yeah, we're excited about that. We had a good month. We only missed it one day. So tell me a little bit about Bailey Military Family Support Group. Who are you guys and sort of what do you do? So we were founded um, last February. We became a 501c3. Okay. So my military mentor, Command Sergeant Major Scott Bailey, um, passed away on active duty. Okay. And so um, after his death, I wanted to find a way to give back to other military families because he did so much for myself and my husband when we were serving. Okay. Um, and so we decided to um, found Bailey Military Family Support Group and our vision is to reduce military affiliated suicides by focusing on the entire family. Obviously a, a, a hefty subject but an important one and yes. I know something that our military has seen become an increasing problem and challenge over the last decade. Absolutely. Especially in El Paso County, we serve over 100,000 veterans, and then that's not including our active duty service members. Okay. And so um, we're unique because we serve the, the spouses, the veteran, or the active duty service member, and the, the children. And so we want to be there before thoughts of suicide happen, and we also want to be there in case something does happen, okay. that we can get them the resources they need. And so um, last month we actually partnered with the Beacon Unit at the Fountain Police Department okay. and their crisis intervention team. And we hosted a suicide prevention night for the entire military family um, unit that is in our group, which okay. was kind of cool because a lot of people don't know about the amazing resources. Um, in El Paso County sure. for suicide prevention. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of them and a lot of groups that, that serve the military family as well. Tell me about how you serve the, the spouses or the, the significant others and the kids. So one of my favorite things that we do is um, we call them deployment baskets. Okay. And the kids love them. Um, when mom or dad deploy or they go on any extended trip, um, we do our coping baskets. And so they're unique to each family, each kid. And it's like Christmas for the kids. We put any and everything. There are these huge baskets we get from Target and the kids are just so excited because they have the toys and then we put some coping stuff. Um, we are faith based and so like we'll put some religious material for mom okay. in there or dad depending on who's deployed. Sure. Um, but the kids like their faces just light up and then we take a week worth of meals um, to the family so that's one less burden. And then we have our monthly support groups and they kind of look like a, a kid's birthday party. We really want it to be something that the kids look forward to. Sure. Um, and that it's a safe space for the kids and the, and the parents. Um, and I think it's unique too because we have um, a lot of the dads are involved. Um, and we don't get to see that a lot with active duty families because they're always gone. Okay. Um, so my favorite part is just seeing those kids smile. I mean, it's, all, it's about the whole family, but I just love working with those kids. Okay, you can't beat it. So you, it's, a, it's a bright light in what can be a challenging time. For Absolutely. Sure. We try to be that hope during the darkness, whether it's deployment, um, getting out of the military, um, just whatever they're dealing with, or maybe they're not even going through anything yet. They can help other people in the group get through what they're going through. That's a great point. Warren, let's, let's go to you. I mean, this is something that here in the Pikes Peak region in southern Colorado, obviously, was with a number of military bases, something really, really important work, and it's important to wire nut to help our community. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're immersed in this community, and when you look, like you said, Matt, all the military families, um, our team, we have tons of military at Wirenut. Um, Gosh, our, our GM's a former Marine, our head of uh, our electrical division is a retired Air Force. And when you see all the sacrifices people make, like I have a family member right now in Italy, and his little girl's here, and he's not going to probably see his little girl take her first steps. Mm. And they're gone for a year, and they're gone for nine months, and they miss all these milestones in this time. And the sacrifices that they make is just immeasurable. And, and so you have that, and then the ultimate sacrifice that people make. And just up the street from me uh, last year, three doors down, a, a military, a, a guy at Fort Carson committed suicide. And mm. so 
to feel that there's something we can do to help in what you guys are doing. Um, I don't know how we couldn't be a part of it. And like you said, even the gift baskets for the kids. And uh, I was talking with Sky, you know, uh, earlier this morning. And these monthly meetings they have, like, rank's not something they really talk about. It's just a place to come and hang out and let your hair down and have some fun. And I think that kind of stuff mm. is missed a lot. So yeah. I think it's wonderful what you guys are doing, and we're just glad to be a part of it. Well, I'm so thankful you chose us this month. Every dollar when you're a small nonprofit makes such a huge difference. So tell us what you're going to do with the $1,740. Um, so we're super excited because this gives us a lot for our monthly um, support group meetings. And then we also have Christmas coming up, and what we do every Christmas is every kid in our group gets a Christmas present. Hmm. Um, and again, the smiles on those kids' faces, right? Mom or dad's gone. Sure. It's, um, so we're going to use it for our support group meetings because that goes a long way. So we're very, very grateful. Well, cool way to honor Scott and a lot of important work that you're doing. So let's do the official part of this. Let's bring Joey from Wirenut in here with a big old check because we're making a big old difference. Joey, bring in that $1,740 for Bailey Military Family Support Group. And you know what? This month we're on to the next one. We are supporting the place, and we're already working on the months ahead. So if you have a local nonprofit that's important to you, go to our website, fox21news.com. You can find the Wire Not Home Services 3-degree guarantee page under the Weather tab and nominate a local nonprofit, and we can make a difference for them. Thank you so much, Joey. You're getting better and better at not tripping over stuff in here. It's quite <laughs> impressive. Sky, uh, Warren, thanks for being here with us. Coming up next, we've got an important weather forecast on this Monday. Stay tuned.